Welcome LEGO fans, I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria and today LEGO City set number 60410, the fire rescue motorcycle. The smallest firefighter set for this wave, January 2024, containing 57 pieces, it's a 4 plus set um, and the price is 10 dollars or euros. We get two minifigures, I think we will take directly a look on them. First, we have this female firefighter. You can remove the hairpiece, no second face printing here, and remove it with the helmet. And the second uh, minifigure is this guy here, who wants to do a barbecue to make some hot dogs. He has a sausage uh, in, in the one hand and the hot dog in the other hand. And he has a second face printing. This is the normal view while he is happy. And he, in this case, is a little bit scared because this barbecue gone wrong. Here is the barbecue sequence and you see the sausage, the sausage here is black. So it became too hot and was no longer eatable. And we have a fire here that you can fight against with the fire motorcycle. And this one is here. It's, simple, uh, it's simply built because it's a 4 plus set, uh, no stickers, it's uh, vehicle number 6 in this year's firefighter wave and you can remove this hose here and give it the firefighter minifigure in the hand that, he, that she can fight against the fire. So that's all what the set has, has for you and let us take a quick look in the instruction. There it is, no numbered bags in this case, only 57 pieces, it's not needed to divide it in two different bags. The build, as I said before, is quite simple. Here's the part list, an overview of some other city sets. And last, the box, here you can see it's aged 4 plus. Learn to build. And that was it from me to this set. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome LEGO fans. I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria. And today LEGO C set number 60411, the fire rescue helicopter. 85 pieces, one minifigure for 10 dollars or euros. It's a nice little set. What is a great addition to the new fire station set number 60414 because for the with the fire station there is no helicopter delivered but the fire station <coughs> has a landing spot for a helicopter on top and this helicopter of course fits perfectly in there. So it's a great addition that I wanted to show you also in this video so I put it away again. And now let us take a look at the minifigure, what is included. Here he is. He has no second face printing, but you can exchange the hairpiece with the helmet. Um, so as you can see. And there is this small fire piece also included because the helicopter has two stud shooters, one on each side. Uh, I hopefully know how this works. When you push the button you kick out those one by one round tiles and you can erase, you can kill the fire with this in play mode of, of course. You can open the cockpit to place the minifigure inside you have two storage cases here, on one on each side and this is all the helicopter has on functions. Then I think let us take a quick look at the instructions. There it is. Of course, because of the small size of the set, we have no numbered bags, so you must open all what is in the box at once and then it is built. It's quite easy, not difficult, everyone should finish it without problems. And a last quick look 
at the box of the set. Here it is. And that was it from me to the set. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome LEGO fans, I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria and today LEGO City set number 60412, the 4x4 fire truck with rescue boat. The set consists out of 301 pieces for 35 dollars or 30 euros and is one of several LEGO City fire sets released January 2024. Um, Set number is 60412 and we get three minifigures and I think let us take a closer look to them. The first minifig is this female firefighter here with the axe in, his, in her hand. She has no second face printing but you can exchange the hairpiece with this helmet here. Two colors on the helmet this bright yellow and black. I will change again back to the hairpiece. The second is a male firefighter. He is the driver of the rescue boat. Also no second face printing, but here is also included a helmet uh, to exchange with the hairpiece. And then we have this guy here who is a camper. He has a fork in his hand and he has a second face printing. This normal one and this scared one here because during his uh, camping expedition is something going wrong. Um, here is the camping scene with a small tent but it's open on two sides. You can easily uh, put those panels here and he is cooking an egg you can see and then in addition there are two small uh, fire pieces that you can put wherever you want and he must, must be secured from the firefighters with the rescue boat and therefore here is the truck with the trailer and the boat on it. The boat can really swim. This piece we know it's in many sets included. We have here this walkie-talkie and this other piece, a steering wheel. Then we have the trailer. It's simple built but the boat fits perfect on it and it's stable. It falls not down by itself. And then we have the truck. You can remove the roof put the minifigure inside and we have some storage boxes, one left, one right, where you can put the accessories. We have two sea clamps on the back. You can put there the axe from the female firefighter. And we have here this small cannon. Of course, this is uh, not so easy to pull out because it uh, is only connected via one stud. And this one here has the shooting functionality. It's a normal stud shooter like this here. You know that from many, many sets. So put it back in again. And this is all you get. Let us check the instructions. There are three instructions inclu included. We have four numbered bags. The first two are for the truck. Um, it's built in a similar way than other trucks we got in the past from LEGO City Police, LEGO City Fire or other sub-themes. Instruction number two, bag three, is the trailer and the rescue boat. And bag number four and in instructions number three is this camping scene with the two fire elements, the trees. Here is the part list. And last, here is the box, a 5 plus set. Yep, and that was it from me to the set. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.
Welcome LEGO fans, I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria and today LEGO City set number 60413, the fire rescue plane. 478 pieces, 3 minifigures, retail price $55 or 60 euros and it's one of several new sets for the LEGO City fire theme. And I think let us start as usual with the minifigures, so we have three. Here is number one. Has he a second face printing? Yes, he has. So really cool. And the second one is here. Let us check if he has a second face printing. No, in this case there's no second face printing. Of course, both of them has, uh, instead of the hairpiece, a helmet. I put them here in the cockpit for moving the plane around without losing them. So here are the two different helmets for each figure one. And then the third minifigure has also a hairpiece. Here it is. But I changed it with the helmet because of this jet backpack with two stud shooters to <laughs> A fight against the fire. So also really cool I think. And then we have the plane itself. Here it is. So we can remove this cockpit piece and you can place two minifigures inside. We have here the control uh, systems for the plane and on both sides we have two stud shooters and then we have a really cool play function. You can open here this part and put inside those water 2x2 two two round bricks, representing water I mean. I put now two inside and then on the side we have here this mechanism we can pull back and then through this hole in from the up uh, down on the side of the plane they fall out to fight against the fire and on the back we can open this one here to put some stuff inside the set has no stickers all what you can see here is printed that's really cool and then there is a small forest scene with some fire on it that you can fight against with the fire plane. This, had, this little piece here has no function. Yep, and that was it so far. Then let's, let us take a look in the instruction. The set comes with five numbered bags. Number one is for this forest scene, two minifigures and the other four are for the plane. And after 146 pages, it is done. The part list is in the small instruction. Here it is. There are some new uh, plane parts, like this here. That is new. And I don't know if, if there are any other new parts. This one here is also new. And of course, this um, piece printed was special for this set. And then last, we have the box. Here it is. Six plus. Here's the functionality shown that you can put those inside and that you can throw out through this hole from the underside. Okie dokie. That was it from me to the set. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome LEGO fans. I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria. And today LEGO City set number 60414, the fire station with fire truck. This is out of the fire sub theme for LEGO City. Uh, for 2024, the biggest set containing 843 pieces and the price is $80 or euros. Five minifigures, a dog, 
this small trash can with a fire inside that bus to be extinguished, uh, a drone with remote control and the fire truck you can exchange the ladder with this extinguisher. I will show you. But I think let us start with the minifigures. I will switch the camera. First we have this female firefighter with this uh, small extinguisher in his hand, in her hand. She has no second face printing, but you can replace the hairpiece with one of those helmets. This one here in yellow and black. The second minifigure is a male. Here it is. And also this one has a second face printing on the headpiece. And he has also this helmet to exchange with the hairpiece. Then the third minifigure is a female again with different uh, upper body part, different printing on it. And she has also a second face printing. No additional helmet for her, only this hairpiece. And then we have here, I think it's the boss of the fire station. He has no second face printing, but he has also, instead of the hairpiece, this helmet. Not yellow black, it's white black. And the last minifigure is this guy here. Um, it seems that he uh, is wearing uh, sleeping clothes and the dog. We Sleeping clothes, you may be thinking about why does a fire worker wear that? Um, I have a good friend of mine, he is working uh, for the fires and they have normally 24 hour sessions, they must work. And if the time um, is there, they can also sleep in the fire station and therefore here in the fire station is a bed. Here's the control room, a coffee machine, a hot dog, those little things here. On the computer monitors are stickers. This uh, window piece here is printed. That is the only uh, detailed interior section of the fire station. When we take a look um, at the first floor, the basement, there are also uh, some attachments. There is those fire axe. And here is the water can for the dog. And on the top we have a landing spot for a helicopter. But the helicopter is not included in the set. But there is uh, one in this, uh, sets of, um, in this wave of fire sets. There is a small helicopter for 10 euros that perfectly fits here on. Um, then we have this... Um, how it is called... Um, this, this, uh, sorry, I must like look what it's called now. I don't know it in a moment. Fire and modular ladder. Fire dog figure. Uh, I don't know it in a moment. You know what it is. Um, Sorry for that. And then we came to the opening mechanism of the two garages. It's completely different uh, what we've got in the past. So you can move this here up in this way and on the other side also. And I will show you how this is done. We have here in the inside there, um, there is some space. And there are some um, ball joints on the door that are gliding through this free area. And this is how it works. I will show you it more detailed in the instructions, I think. It makes sense to show it in the instructions. And this is the fire station. And then we came to the fire truck. Here is the uh, ladder version. You can move it up, 
turn it around and then you can completely remove it. It's modular and you can place this extinguisher in it with those um, two shootable things like this. And you can place um, a minifigure in the front section of the truck. And that was it. Here is um, the opportunity to put a trailer to it. Maybe the trailer out of the pickup truck set out of this wave may fit there. And then we have this small little drone with a stud shooter, what also sh uh, shots water. And this is the remote control for the drone. You can give it a mini minifigure in the hand. And then I think let us take a look in the instructions. The set comes with eight numbered bags. And you start with the first instructions. Uh, three bags are needed to build this fire truck. And in the end it's also shown how this uh, modular section in the back you can exchange. The next building instructions are bags four and five. You start with the fire station. And here I can now show you how this mechanism works for the doors. Here you can see it. There is the free space between this um, tile and the bricks above them. And when you build the door, there it is, you have uh, this ball joints parts on each side. And with this ball joints, they are gliding through this free space, as you can see here. And this is how this mechanism works. So quite easy constructed, but works very well. Instructions six and seven are the second garage. It's built uh, nearly 100% the same as the first one. Only the roof is a little bit different. And bag eight is then the control room, restroom, kitchen is what it's all inside. And this uh, part, I don't know the name in the moment. Ah, sorry for that. It's a pole. Now I know it. It's a pole. I'm so stupid. Sorry. And then at the end, I think let us take a quick look at the box. Here it is. The back side. So that is so far all from me to the set. The only thing I will show you at the end is that the garages are much too small for the fire truck. When I put it in like this, it's standing in the front at the door and you see how much the car um, stands out at the rear side. So maybe this should be longer here that the truck completely fits in. They did that in the past with other fire stations. We got that um, the garage for the truck is much longer than it fits in. I don't know why they did it this time, not, not sure. So, but this is now all from me to the set. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.